Right guard Solo Vaipulu and left tackle Il Manning didn't quite know what to expect when they first arrived in Manoa. Like every freshman has a mindset to start and stuff. Like I knew like if I came out here and the competition was gonna be like at a higher level. I wasn't expecting to start or anything like that. And I was, we was working our way up to, on the ladders basically. We are working with different groups of linemen. And you know, we finally find, found the um, right fit. And so, when the season kicked off at Colorado State, there they were, two true freshmen slated to start on opening night. At first, it was pretty nerve-wracking, like, going out to Colorado and, like, we're on the road and I was going to play my first college football game in front of a crowd that was booing us. A lot of the players, like, told me, like, after that first snap, it's just going to feel like practice. First snap, it was like, you started to chill and then, on from there, you got the hang of it, so it wasn't, it wasn't that intense. That first is, uh. Interestingly, for Vaipulu and Manning, that cool confidence is born out of the same source, a fear of failure. I just don't want to get embarrassed or, like, or beat. And the guy in front of me, you know, he's doing his hardest, so it's like, if I mess up, <laughs> it's all eyes on me. If I get beat, then I know I have to step up the next play and everything, so, like, I just built that confidence because I don't, I don't, like, I don't want to get exposed on camera. Man. Vaipulu, a 6'2", 310-pounder who hails from Riverside, California, hadn't experienced much of the islands outside of Waikiki until last year when he participated in the Polynesian Bowl and found that through his Tongan ancestry, there was a connection. We got to travel like to North Shore and then we got to practice at Kahuku and stuff. Like Me just seeing like different parts of Hawaii just gave me a better understanding of the island. Soon after, Vaipulu committed to UH. It played a huge factor, like, I don't think any other team has as much Polynesians as Hawaii has. Manning, who stands at 6'4", had some work to do in the offseason to physically ready himself to play the all-important left tackle position. On my visit, when I first came out here, and the coach was telling me, oh, you need to gain some weight, because, you know, they're big. So, you know, I went back home, you know, hit the weight room, and gained, like, 20 pounds. Now, the Glendale, Arizona native's impressive physique meshes well with his previous experience running a version of the run and shoot offense at Apollo High School. We basically almost ran the same thing, so it was pretty seamless. Just coming to here, my parents told me just, just trust yourself and just buy into the program. You do good. Both freshmen, though, are quick to acknowledge the benefit of lining up next to upperclassmen Cole Levao and J.R. Hensley, as well as sophomore center Ta'anga Tuulima. Just having JR and Cole, a good thing they do is they don't treat us like freshmen, so they hold us at a higher standard in the game and at practice. JR, you know, asks him a question, and he answers it, and he helped me a lot. He's telling me, like, you got out there, or, you know, we would sit down and talk to each other about some things, because, you know, we're going to be working next to each other for the whole season, basically. So, yeah, he's really good. Having Tonga at center makes everything way easier, because he, he knows football a lot, so he just makes the calls and like some plays we'll like, we'll see the front, the defense in front and like I'll be confused, but Tonga would call it out and then it was just all makes sense in the end. Yep, the future appears to be now for Hawaii's offensive line.